We're rolling. All right. Update on the 66. We got, we went down to the parts store and we got a, we got new battery. Watch your cup, man. <laughs> we got new battery cables, a new ground cable, new hot cable, hooked it up, found the remote starter switch, which was up in the garage, hooked it up to the hot, run it down to the solenoid post on the starter. The motor turned over probably three revolutions, real tight, real slow, and now it won't turn. So, we drained a oil pan. I just wanted to bump the motor over to get it on top dead center and to see if the starter worked and it would turn over at all. We drained the oil pan and we got probably three quarts of water out of it and that was it. Uh, so I'm a little concerned just a little concerned uh, I'm concerned that uh, I hope the inner is not locked up like the bearings and the cam and stuff if I can get the oil down the cylinders maybe I can get the motor to turn over and free back up there was no oil in that motor whatsoever, which I should have checked that before. I did. There's Daisy. Hey, fucker. Uh, <laughs> yeah, fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm a little concerned. We got to get oil in it. We're headed out here to get the rest of the parts right now at my buddy's place. Uh, we need to get the oil in the filter and put new oil, new oil filter on in the block, in the oil pan. Uh, I need to prime the oil pump and I figured out how I'm gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a flathead screwdriver and I'm gonna cut it off and I'm gonna put it in a drill and I'm gonna spin the oil pump with a flathead screwdriver stem on a drill. And I'll show you that when we get started. But I'm gonna prime the oil pump next. I'm gonna dump oil down the cylinders. And then I'm gonna try to get the motor freed back up because it is very, very, very tight. And uh, yeah. So I guess that's it for now. I'll get back to you when we're uh, putting the oil in and get ready to prime up the oil pump. I have not stabbed the distributor because uh, the motor was tight and I wanna prime the pump before I turn the motor anymore if I can even turn the motor to begin with. So, we'll show you how to prime that oil pump with a flathead screwdriver and a drill. And that'll do it, we'll see you. Cut!